Century Military Alliance was started in 2011, and we officially became a 501c3 in 2013. What drove us was our different transition stories coming together and realizing how different they were, and then seeing from the veteran service organizations that we worked for, realizing some of the dangers uh, and some of the, the great misnomers about transition that they were facing. For instance, my husband was a state coordinator um, for Texas, and he was meeting veterans under bridges in places that he never imagined. I was working for a female-only nonprofit organization. Uh, I, I witnessed a, a young mother that said she couldn't work around men anymore and gave up a $60,000 job. Uh, and there's no organization that would be able to support her continuously. And so it was those difficulties that I thought, how does that happen? How does one serve in our global force in the military to stand so strong, so proud, and then the next day just slunch over and give up and lose all hope? So we started talking, and my father was in education at the time. And so he was a big proponent for people thinking they were just going to get out and do the job and disregarding their education or not taking advantage of the military benefits. And so he spoke to that. And so going forward, how do we ensure that we're teaching this? How do we get into a structure where we can actually make it a curriculum? And what would it look like? And so we were the first community-based transition program 501c3 that launched in 2013, recognized by Department of Defense, TAB. We're invited on military installations by the Transitioning Service Manager to teach the curriculum. And they see that with the community coming together and teaching this course and other veteran service organizations coming together and teaching that if we can get it right and we can successfully transition, and then the rest of the world is going to come together, the community is going to come together and support us even further because we can get it right ourselves.